you know things ain't always sweet when you out here in these streets. But my morpher when it morph, I made a fake one. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to the fan club. It's your boy, Braz, Dan Brosnan in the building. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. We love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. We have a good one today. We are going to be talking about Power Rangers Dino Fury, how it is coming to an end on the filming side. There is some post-production and some voiceovers, effects, all different types of things that need to be done before the show is complete. But the Rangers are going to be coming back to the States very soon. But we're going to talk about that. But we're also going to talk about where, where we come or where we go from here. It's going to be the 30th anniversary next year. It's it's coming. All right. What's going to happen after Dino Fury? We're going to speculate on that. But let's get into it. If you like this content, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. You can also send us a tip on buymeacoffee.com. Every little bit goes a long way. Show us your support if you like these daily Power Ranger videos. Yes, folks, daily. We're on this daily video grind. Come check us out. Let's get into the video. So if you watch my last video, video we talked about how um good old simon bennett was talking about hey uh, i've got a few days left um what do you say here last hour on set before rap studio west home of the power rangers last day of filming on power rangers three days ago it's just it it's sad man and then they posted this 12 hours ago farewell lunch fabulous cast dang man so it's real it's happening and then you know to make it even more real for you you, you people that comment on my videos and say it's fake power rangers facebook page baby production might be over but we're never going to say goodbye to russell curry hunter dino kai moya chance perez tessa rao and jordan fight that's a wrap for power rangers dino fury but you'll be rangers forever man look at this this is a good team of rangers i am just so excited to see ion aka jordan fight see where he's from his story everything like that this it, it's great man i i absolutely love it shout out the power rangers team in front of the camera and behind the camera you're really making this one of the best seasons now where do we go from here guys that's really what it's about is we've got so many seasons of power rangers so many villains so many characters and what do we do now you know what I'm saying? Like, we're at the point where we're 30 years in. We have to do something legendary. And that's where I think they're going to have some type of deal with the streaming service and to be able to do what they really want to do. Um, I think they're going to bring back some Mighty Morphin. But do not be surprised if they bring back a season or two that we haven't seen in a while. We've definitely seen with the toy lines that they have been giving us a variety of things. Still not a lot of Disney seasons, but we, we have been getting a very nice variety with Lightning Collection, okay? Um, we're at a point, we're 30 years in, make a move. And I think they are going to give us something that we have never seen before. They're going to give us maybe a mashup. Maybe this new season universe is going to start to come out around then when they really change it up and make Power Rangers a household name again. Not saying that it's not, but we... When you think of Power Rangers, you think of Mighty Morphin. You don't really think of the newest wave of Power Rangers. I know the, the toys look great. Everyone it loves the toys. They sell out right away. But what about the show? The show has lost its juice. But lately, it's not about the content. It's about the numbers 
And the last few years with Saban, he ran Power Rangers into the ground number-wise, and so did Nickelodeon. That time slot, just the way things were, were put together, it did not put Power Rangers in the best position to succeed, in my opinion. So Hasbro had to pick this up when the numbers are already down. So you can expect the numbers to be down for a while, but it is going to get better. I absolutely love what they did with Dino Fury. And I think with the 30th anniversary season, you're going to see something completely new, never before seen. Um, what do you guys think? I don't want to make any crazy accusations or speculation and say that, oh, they're, they are for sure cutting ties with Toei or they are for sure adapting so-and-so Sentai season. You know what I'm saying, guys? I do believe that something big is going to happen, though, and that could go either way. Um, we're, they're either going to shock the nation by pulling out of Toei or you're going to shock the other half of the nation for staying with Toei. So they, this is going to be fun. Where do you go from here? I just think in the bigger picture scheme that they could do a lot more if they were on their own and could figure out a proper way to market Power Rangers back to that American audience. It seems like Japan is going a separate way. And I think it's time to cross on over. What do you guys think? I love talking to you guys. Thank you so much for watching the channel. We love you. We will see you next time. If you like the videos, you know what to do. Have a good one, y'all. Peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscription button, and also hit that notification bell to stay in the algorithm. Do you guys support the fan club? You want to help us make our next episode and keep this show running? Well, check out our brand new fan club t-shirts. These are on our Square site. Go check that out. Go check us out on all social media platforms. And thank you for rocking with us, guys.